So hey, and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to talk about, you know, the different training programs that are going around with these different large corporations. Um, you know, we've seen these anti-racism training programs with companies like Starbucks, um, Coca-Cola, and now added to that list, uh, Disney World decided to uh, launch their new anti-racism training program. And I just want to go through um, some of the things um, that are on here. So basically, uh, Disney is claiming that America was founded on systemic racism. It is encouraging employees to complete a white privilege checklist and is separating minorities into affinity groups. So basically, there are um, a few separate groups and they're saying that these groups are to um, basically gather more opportunities for these uh, minority individuals. So there's a group called Ola, which is for um, Hispanic people. And there's a group called Wakanda for black people. And then there's a group for Pacific Islanders, Asians, um, or allies is what they say, um, called Compass. And, you know, the thing is, you know, they're gathering all of this stuff to say, you know, hey, you know, racism is not good. You know, nobody should feel excluded, but yet they're excluding people, right? I thought the days of Jim Crow were over. So why are we fighting for more exclusion when we claim that we want more inclusion? It does not make sense to me. So let's break it down. The white privilege checklist. Right. So when I read through this checklist, I was like, what is going on here? The training documents of Disney World were leaked um, by an insider. And it basically shows um, the training program that is currently taking place at Walt Disney World. So basically, the, there was a, a self-assessment um, where people would check a list. And the more you checked off on this list, then that meant that you are privileged, right? So on uh, among like the numerous uh, stuff on this list, and I'm going to leave these um, leaked documents on my gab. So if you want to um, check out the leaked documents, um, follow me on my gab page. It'll be in the description. So at the top of this was white, which I mean, of course, right? It, it's an anti-racism training program. So you know that they're going to come for white people really hard. Um, and along that, among that, um, man was on the list, a heterosexual, never been raped, which is a uh, very invasive, right? Wh why are we checking off this stuff? It, that has absolutely nothing to do with privilege. Um, never had your hair touched by a stranger or asked if it was real, <laughs> which you know, they were trying to target black women with that question to say, yeah, black women, you're black and you're a woman. You know, you're not privileged in any way. So go ahead and check that off. We're going to give you a freebie here. <laughs> <sighs> so stereotypical. And let me just say, if people are privileged, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being privileged. Right. If you if you grew up with um, certain privileges and opportunities, that's great. But I think the, the issue here is, unfortunately, they're trying to make people feel guilty for having certain sexual preferences, for having a certain skin color, um, for living a fairly normal life. Why are you trying to make people feel guilty about that? And they're like, no, 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 no. We're, we're just trying to um, protect the people who went through that. No, no, you're not. You're so in division and you're trying to make people feel guilty for being simply who they are. Yet you're preaching, oh yeah, no, no, no. People should be who they are, right? If, if they prefer the same sex um, person, you know, if they want to have a sex change, just let them be who they are. Well, why don't you just let white people, heterosexual people, men, uh, people who've never been raped or had, you know, any of the experience you experiences you have on this list why don't you just let them be who they are instead of trying to make them feel guilty that is not right if you're going to have these different groups okay have a group for everybody but in the same breath don't preach about being inclusive because these groups are not inclusive 
And that is not right. So I worked at Walt Disney World. Okay, I worked at Walt Disney World over 10 years ago. I did their Disney College program and I really enjoyed it. So if any of you have ever been to Disney World or you've ever been out in the Orlando area, you know that it is a huge melting pot out there. I mean, there are people from all different racial and ethnic backgrounds out there. So working at Walt Disney World, I had friends who were white, black, Hispanic, Indian. I mean, friends of all different racial backgrounds. It did not matter. And we vibed very well together. So their training program back then, it was phenomenal. I mean, it really changed how I worked, right? Like a lot of people would hire me because they're like, you worked at Disney World? Oh my gosh, their training is the best you know, I know you have good customer service. Basically, it was like, yeah, you're in because Disney is just that great with their training program. You know, it wasn't any focus on race or all of this other crazy stuff they're trying to put in here today. And, you know, it really made a difference. You know, it was like you can go to Disney World and going to Disney World and even working at Walt Disney World is it's like a bubble of happiness. Right, People go there to escape all of the different cares and woes of everyday life. And, you know, they just want to be happy. Everybody wants to feel included, like, they, like they're cared about, like they matter. You know, no matter what your racial background is. And Disney has always done a good job of doing that. Why do you need to add this training program? Now you're excluding a, a, a large group of people, Right? And this is going to be problematic for them going forward. You know, if you're going to have a training program that says, hey, you know, don't be racist. Okay, fine. Be more inclusive. Fine. But let this training program apply to everybody. Don't just tell only one racial group of people that they need to be less racist, which I agree. Nobody should be racist, right? But let this apply to everybody. Have have this training program include Black people, Hispanic people, Indian people, people of all different racial backgrounds. One of the things they said in this um, race training program, white people should uh, be basically less white and start to educate themselves on um, different cultures, which first of all, you don't tell anybody to be less of, you know, who they are. That's not right. But if you're going to say that white people should educate themselves on different cultures, I agree with that. But I also agree that we all should be educating ourselves on different cultures. I think that would be a very good step to helping us to understand each other more. And if we understand each other more, then we won't be as offended by stuff. I think the focus is so much on skin color when it should just be more focused on us as human beings, right? We're human beings and we should be more focused on loving each other and coming together with each other. And that coming together should not exclude people based on the color of their skin. I don't care what the color of their skin is, even if it's white. You know, they're presenting this training program as a good thing. But in actuality, it's causing more destruction and division. It's just like the enemy, right? The devil will present himself as an angel of light. He'll make it seem like, oh, what I'm showing you is a good thing. When in actuality, it's not. It's the same thing with these training programs that are going around. Uh, black people, people of different racial backgrounds, white people, whatever your skin color is, do not be deceived by this information. They are lying to us. And rest assured, these training programs will start to sweep all across the United States and other parts of the world into large organizations all around the country and world and even smaller organizations. I would not be surprised if it came a time where they told employers that you have to teach this in your organization or else we may have you shut down. It is not a joke out here. These people are coming for this country. They're coming for the world and they want nothing but destruction and control. They do not have your best interest at heart. 
And I'm sorry to say that, but on the flip side of that, God does. He loves you. And that is why he is sending people to speak truth and stand up against this evil agenda. Let's stop listening to these people, the media, um, these different corporations who are just going along with the whole agenda of the one world government, which is to sow hate and division. Don't listen to them. We need to start talking to each other instead of at each other. And let's work to understand each other and let's come together and create a beautiful world that we all can live in freely and enjoyably. And at the end of the day, racism, no matter who it's coming from, is a heart issue, right? That is something that we need to work out with God. You do not judge whether somebody is racist based on the color of their skin. Man, look at the outward appearance, but God sees our hearts. He knows. And if you are struggling with racism of, of any kind, let God heal you and fix that. Whatever racial background you are, because not only one group of people is racist. Racism comes in all different shades and kinds and colors. But let's all work to fix our hearts. Let's all work to come together. And let's all work to make a difference in the world. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next video, take care and God bless you.